Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more of The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I am Bogmod. We just finished uh, upgrading our unit. Our, not, not our units, our characters. And I'd like to report that, yes, we. Oh, yes, we helped with the lighthouse. Yes, give me money. We did kill a monster. Yes, very important. And we. Yes, we killed that monster, too. Mm, yes. Ooh, G plus rank. Silver chain accessory. Ah, oh, good work. Seems you have safely achieved your goal. If you have any jobs completed, come by and report them. And I will give you more out of my outrageous accent. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Ingredient hunters. Alright. Now, it was sort of reminded to me. Since I got this, I should double check the tower. Uh, make sure I've killed all the things on my way through here. Because I, I, you know, I avoided a lot of those critters in there. And they could have been giving me potential tasty goodies. <laughs> What's in there? Ah, oh, those plant guys. I'm sure I've killed plenty of them. Uh, killed plenty of you. And you. Ah, actually, this kind of reminds me. Uh, items, that's the one I want. No, no, it's... This is the button I wanted. There we are. So we've got the white shadow case. Went east. Tentative monster ingredient lists. Fish fillet from other tales, prickly seeds, beast flesh. Did he give me eight or did he give me more? I can't remember anymore. Oh well. That's why we do this thing that I do. Boom. Because you never know what you could miss. I've killed plenty of those little guys. It's fine. Then I guess we'd have to progress the main plot. Yeah, I definitely want to kill some of these guys. Ah! Preemptive. What kind of tasty things could they have? Leathery tail? Firefly Flungus! Flungus. Mmm, the tasty flungus. A humongous flungus, perhaps. Firefly fungus. Alright. Let's see if uh, we kill enough, we get a chest that says firefly fungus. Is it a firefly fungus? Nope. That's a little sad. Mm. Well, what might you have, buddy? Curative horn. I'm not sure if that counts. But I do want that fungus. Oh, got a filled with shame. That spell filled me with joy. Wap. Killing monsters with my sword is fun. Un, 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 un. Fungus? Another tail. Damn it! These are not the body parts you're looking for. Nah, eh, Star Wars. Mm. Got that. 
Go remember how I killed those things. Hmm. Run away. Now you're saying, but bug mud, you're an amazing. You are like unto a killing god. Why would you run away from them? Ah, so I can attack from behind. That's right. Oh. Right! Force field. Forgot about that. <laughs> do do this should finish it off, I hope. Mm. Yes it did. Still no body parts like I wanted. That's fine. There's plenty more body parts in the sea. Especially if you hang out near mobsters. Ah, uh, the one time being lost is to my advantage. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yes, yes, could it? Is it going to be? No, it's not. You know what? It occurs to me. I can do this off screen. No need for you to watch me pound monster. If you know what I mean. Besides, I am pretty sure that I went through here before when I had, uh, and I already started the quest, so. Sure, I got the stuff from the first time in here. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. I'm gonna go talk to that guy at the south place. Continue the main story a bit. Ooh, juicy bones. Sweet, sweet juicy bones. Oh, God, tell you. Fill me with shame. A great and terrible shame. Getting your magic points stolen like that. Mm -hmm. Juicy bone. Ooh, that's actually worth an idea. Hmm, a juicy bone did not appear on the list. I don't know if that means it's good or bad. Mm, oh well. Nope. Mm, this way? Designs these places. It's just makes no sense. Well, I guess maybe it has some sort of magical resonance, or some sort of reason like that for this clearly dungeon based design. Well, no matter. On to the checkpoints. Even though we didn't get that super awesome picture, we could have gotten. That's what happens though when you aren't playing and uh, using a walkthrough. When you're stuck with me, just play this game blind as a bat. Air Latin, yes, right. We did that before. Seems like our soldier's getting lazy lately. It was an idiot who was half asleep in his post and thought he was. So something made a huge fuss. Oh, that's probably the that thing. Oh, you're the bracers from that time. Don't need any guests right now, so Rex will enjoy. If you're hungry, want to try out some of our new menu. I would like to actually. I've, I've eaten both of your things. 
so you have nothing for me. Hey, buddy. Logic for for travelers. Just give you the word. All right, I'm going to give you the word, which may or may not be the bird. Hundred. Yeah, fine. Game. I'll give you my money. Hey, buddy. Uh, all the church spots around were open, I heard, during the election. Capital indulged in a little peaceful reading. Yeah, you know what? I like waterfalls. So, yeah. Kudos to you, Connor. It's a good choice. The sound of the water just echoing through your body. You read that book. Live the book. Be the book. Uh, just called you a tunnel. Yes, I don't have permission to pass. All right. Um, excuse me. We're from the Bracer Guild. Hey, welcome. Hmm? Wait a minute. You're that Bracer dealt with the Duke. Ah, yeah, that's me. First, you even remember that. Of course. Things would have gone half as smoothly without you. What can I do for you today? Well, sir, we're here about a soldier who claims to have seen a white shadow. What did the guild heard about that? For the love of things. Blasphemous <laughs> things that I would say, but there's... You're a young girl. It's ridiculous. He should be ashamed of himself. Honestly. Ashamed? What do you mean? If there was any ghost, he was just daydreaming. Drifting off the way he did could be disastrous if there's an actual emergency. Like a coup attempt. As a commanding officer, his actions are wholly my responsibility. How embarrassing. I think you're going to get ahead of yourself, sir. That thing, whatever it is, has apparently been seen all over the region. What? You. The Sterling Company explained the investigation to Chief Ward Officer Hahn. I, I see. Goodness. I thought he, he was simply half asleep, but perhaps I did jump to conclusions too quickly. I've been far too hard on Nyx in that case. Oh, the beatings I gave him. Ha, ah, we'll laugh at this later. So Nyx is the one who saw the White Shadow? Well, that's right. So you want to do the entrance to the Caldea Tunnel? Go speak to him directly. To me is my permission to speak with you. Thank you, sir. Yay. Let's talk. Ho oh, there, you want to head the tunnel? Just give me a minute and I'll open the gate. What happened to that? You need permission. Yeah, well. Hello, oh, no, we're not here for the tunnel. From the Bracer Guild. I'm oh, here for you, actually. Basically, about the white shadow you saw? Hang on, you mean. Well, that was just something I did when I was half asleep. Actually, it wasn't. A lot of people across the ground have seen. been seeing. It. And, according to your commanding officer, Neither you nor he knew. He said sorry for his earlier abuse and slappings, and the kidding, and the caning, and the breaking of your limbs, and says you can talk freely about it now. So it was real. It was too real to be a dream. I just feel a bit better, honestly. If that thing was real. It was actually kind of bone chilling. Trust me, I know what you mean. Uh, uh, anyway, can you tell us about what you saw? As much detail as you can, please. Sure. It's three minutes ago. I'm standing here on my watch shift. Notice how loud the waterfall is, right? You used to it after a while. It has a rhythm. You can really lull you to sleep. Plus, I just started my shift and come back from the mess. Oh, I've gorged on food. So it's even more so just gorged. You have no idea how much food I ate. It was pretty fat. To keep from falling asleep, I walked back and forth around here. That's where I saw it. Hmm. I see. Mm, yes. What was it exactly? For a man dressed in white old fashioned clothes. He or it was dancing just above the waterfall. I fear it's so bad. I pointed my rifle at it without thinking in. What? You sh shot the g g thing? Yeah. That's a warning shot, but so I hit it right in the chest. Man, it's like my 18th birthday all over again. 
Well, I know it did, but it just floated there as if nothing had happened at all. So it took off like a bird or something, heading north. Heep! Need the gunfire too? That's a swell. Well, that, we're inside to book the commander, of course. But all that got me was slapping. So many slappings for sleeping on the job and unnecessary rifle discharge. Oh, God, the slappings. Man, that was a bad day. Unless you like slappings, then it was a great day, but but I don't. I can uh, imagine the slappings. Anyway, it's clear for the best. Just pretend it was a dream. Forget it ever happened. Yep. There's that, but I'd be able to forget that for a while. Why well, that poor soul is wandering us? Try to help him, right? I mean, to solve the problems of the dead, too, right? The heck no! I'm not a priest. Screw the dead. But there has to be a reason it's showing up here. Figure out what that reason is. Good luck then. All right. Hold on. There's a thing. But I could fish here. Ooh. Yeah. There's the progress rod. Coastal sand. Let's use the the earthworm. Mm, I didn't even notice that. Go me! I'm amazing. Yay! Ooh, I still has a case of crab, a fish egg, crab bait. Hmm. Oh, because we're the big fish. Well, I'm going to try this, this poly cheat thing. Give it a second go. Oh, yeah. Another crab. Now we have two crab. Double crab. Much better than double rainbow. Oh, what's this? Wow, incredible. Mama, Papa, come here. Oh, someone new. They have distinctive purple hair, that means, and faces. They must be important in some way. Now, now, slow down on your trip, pumpkin. Mmm, it really is lovely. I'm glad we come with you, my love. Thank you. Man, look at that collar she has on. Mmm, no, I've always left you two alone back home. The least I could do for my family. Aww. Aww, that's a really sweet family. Looks like they're on vacation or something. Looks like, yeah. I think they might even be foreigners. Look at that filthy purple hair. Filthy foreigners with their purple hair. They have to take our jobs, I bet. And our money. And our women! You better best hide it still. It's so amazing. Just looking at it, I feel like it's gonna swallow me whole. Excuse me, miss. Do you know the name of this waterfall? Where does all this water come from? Uh, that's a little out of blue, but uh, it's the Dave waterfall. I mean, Air Latin. Yes. Water flows from Valeria Lake through an ancient waterway. Oh, I know what Valeria Lake is. It's the big lake we saw before the airship landed, right? Yes, that's right, but airship? What are those? Are you from another country? Yep, that's right. I'm from far, far away. By the way, my name's Renee. That rhymed. Renee, huh? That's a really cute name. Hehe, <laughs> I know. Papa and Mama gave it to me. Of course it'd be cute. Oh, Renee, don't be a bother the nice don't bother the nice lady so much. Oh, our our pal Jesifer. Renee is troubling you too much, miss. Ah, oh, I wasn't doing anything bad. No no, it's no trouble. Hope you don't mind prying. What brings you to the middle folks? Are you here for our jobs? Or our women? Well, I often come to Liberal for business. My business, you know, taking your jobs. 
Every time I do, I steal just a one more job. And I'm struck by the beauty of the country. So, uh, so this time he brought myself and our daughter along. Miracles do happen, it seems. <laughs> Guys like the most picture perfect family, you know. Just like my family. Before my mother died in a war! Ah, uh, jealous! Papa's away a lot, but he always brings us lots of presents when he comes home. Hey, this one time, Estelle's dad brought her a child. So, top that. And Mama's always full of smiles and makes the best food. Really? I'm kind of jealous now, actually. Ah, uh, goodness. I'm sorry, she's very much a chill child. Hey, what's yours, miss? What's your name? Oh, yeah, sorry, I've just introduced myself. Miss Estelle. Estelle Bright. I'm a bracer. Hey, wait. Do you know what a bracer is? Hey, I'm not stupid. I'm a big girl. But that's neat. You're a bracer, huh? Do you slay lots of scary monsters? Yep, that's part of the job sometimes. The bracer? That's very impressive. Mm, especially at your age. Oh, I'm still pretty new at it, though. There's guild branches in every major city and liberal. If folks encounter any trouble during your trip, you don't count on us. Except for you, sir. Back away from our jobs. Back you, Gil. Keep that in mind. If you us, though, we need to check into the inn. Come along now, Renee. Oh, I want to talk to Mr. Estelle some more. Hey, Mr. Estelle, will you play with me next time we meet? Sure. Hee hee, yay. See you, Mr. Estelle. Uh, sometimes the most dulcet voices flow off my tongue. Mm. Pretty energetic little sprout, huh? Bit younger than Tita, even, I think. Yeah, she might be. What? That reminds you of your old man? Huh? <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. But how I was around her age when Josh and I first met. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, we've shaken down our witnesses. Should I get back to the dream? Sure. All right. Well, that seems like a good place to take a little break. A little breather. Come back to all this soon enough. See everybody soon.